Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome to a video all about Bishop. If you remember recently, I picked up this champion first off and then duped him very recently. It is a really, really decent champion, especially with seven stars being the current meta. Uh, with things, it does mean that his damage scale is going to be beyond what is the capability of, say, the six star. If anybody is ranking up the six, I, I love my my kind of my, my bishop here. Um, I really, really enjoy setting up different things for stat focus. I do want to do a video devoted to stat focus. I also want to do a kind of a, a list of champions that I think do really well with certain stat focuses especially for defense uh, and offense whether or not it's a case that you're kind of like ramping up the champion for different things uh, you know energy resistance block penetration whether or not it's uh, something of a defensive nature that's going to be beneficial this can be really beneficial for, for any champion especially when it looks at things like battlegrounds and stuff like that I, I don't know really which one would be kind of like the the best one with it because with with bishop you kind of want to be Sort of you want to be hit and also you want to be hit with any kind of like would energy resistance be a thing. Again, it's all dependent on like situation and stuff and amplifying certain things. Block proficiency maybe because the champion doesn't have much of it. But maybe you want that kind of energy resistance. Or maybe it's a case special damage. Which I actually think may be good. Because if you're on the defensive, if you had the champion on defense and people were attacking said champion. Then you'd be like, okay, well that champion, Bishop, is going to throw a special attack. And if he throws a special attack and it lands... Which, let's face it, a lot of the time it does land, that would be beneficial for the um, kind of like taking out the enemy. But from an attack perspective, one of the favorite ones that I do like is special damage. I also, from time to time, like to do things like critical damage rating, but I kind of go between those two there of choice. And by the way, I love stat focus, I love it more than relics. And I'm, you know, maybe I should have done this video with the relic pair up with, uh, with Bishop, but maybe that's another video. I just like, like you know, how this is uh, done with the champion. Critical rating can be effective, and also when you go into certain situations like crit me with your best shot, like having crit rating means uh, and having that kind of flexibility to change between different things means that you can adapt to scenarios based on nodes and stuff like that. So do bear in mind to kind of look out for these things that are going to be beneficial for the champion. But in any case, I'm going to stop talking. I want to just like showcase some footage, especially a little bit of going a little bit of questing and Thronebreaker and then doing some non-suicide masteries and then suicide masteries kind of like comparisons on numbers. Some very, very funky things I really, really like. And as I said, my favorite stat focus for the seven star is indeed special damage. So without further ado, let's get into the footage, shall we? So yeah, as I said, I absolutely uh, love this champion. Uh, just because, I mean, I think I, I like the... Um, I think I had a move. Did I have him as a five star first off? In any case, like he is one. Maybe he's one of my first six stars. In any case, it's just a champion that is just able to excel and get to a great amount of damage in a short space of time. And that's all we want with our champions. You know, getting to quick kind of burst elements of damage in like a short space of time. Granted, these kind of fights to things at Throne Breaker and other areas aren't exactly the best test of his strength because at the end of the day. It's big yellow numbers and rotation wise, sometimes situations call for you to kind of do certain things. It just wouldn't kind of like, you know, go in line with stuff. But you can definitely see even when I've like I've got him down as like you know, it's quite low health against other seven stars. He's able to build up to those prowess quite nicely. And when he's able to build up to those prowess quite nicely, he's able to do some really good damaging numbers like we're red, nearly ready right there. Maybe we should have fired at 41 prowess, but uh, I'm just going to like shoot off uh, any kind of like damage in a minute because I think you just lose my patience with it. Just like because you've got to re rely on a parry kind of element and let's face it well time blocks and mcoc aren't great because the either the inputs in game or the enemy ai is not helpful at all i mean come on know this they, they've got the ai profiles kind of like setting up stuff so they, they know exactly what's going on with the with all that but uh hey you know you just like doing those uh big bits of damage in any case you know this isn't the best showcase of the champion but here's the thing and as i said if you need a champion with a quick kind of access or easy to access uh high special attack damage and especially when it comes to like mantis if you saw my video on uh thursday then you'll know that like because of power shield getting to big damage numbers like that 249 k's a time is just absolutely beautiful right now we're moving on to a little bit of realm of legends kind of like footage and like again i just like the extent of build up we're going to get to the i try and get to 40 as much as possible it's just making sure that number one you can sustain that uh, and number two like the ai just kind of isn't ass and the ai is 
ass a lot in realm of uh, realm of legends but those 5ks per tick on uh, on incinerates is very nice the synergy that i brought in for this one was pyramid x storm was mangog mangog because it has a prowess and regeneration rate improvement also we've got uh, cyclops and standard storm uh, with this one. Oh, and also this is a uh, horseman but to be honest i didn't enjoy using the horseman on this one and maybe that's a bit of kind of like an out there kind of uh, point to say. But I actually, no, this one is this horseman synergy. The other, the next one we're going to see is uh, the different synergy. So um, uh, my my mistake there uh, in a minute, we'll uh, see that. I get clipped there, which wasn't great. Don't worry. Like the footage gets, like there's mistakes happen. Uh, but this is sometimes the AI in Realm of Legends is just so bad. It's really bad on the CCP server as well at the same time, which we're going to jump to uh, in a moment. There's some footage of um of the champion with suicide batteries on the ccp beta but they're still nice seeing some good amount of hits and good amount of damage this is an interesting one uh this is going in this is now with the non um uh the non horseman synergy and we're going into an sp3 sp3 is launched in order to get a energy vulnerability debuff which uh, on a plus side for us is um i get hit there but the, <laughs> the ai and the inputs are so bad at the moment in game but in any case, moving on, and uh, the beast we're building up right here is building up to an SP2 with that energy vulnerability on, and then it's just going to be a case of, uh, yep, uh, another one and another one. We're going to do another well time block. The AI is just so bad. It's like trying to collect, collect kind of footage for this video. It just becomes a little bit frustrating at times because you just have to wait for the AI to kind of, you know, behave itself, kind of like flow well, and it just doesn't flow well. You know, it's got less flow than Flow Rider. You know that's 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 a lot of that's a lot less flow than standard kind of stuff, and I get like impatient and throwing SP two, but it doesn't matter because we're doing like energy vulnerability debuff on that. It's giving us ten thousand incinerate damage per tick, very very impressive. Although there's going to be some stats and information missing from this, so I don't know if this is a weird anomaly type situation. In that, um, yeah, you're going to see that the energy damage for or the um, Incinerate damage. It's just not. It's just not there. It's not kind of registered as a as a thing. You can see on screen right now. This is the footage right here. Like it says, special attacks times two, one hundred nine thousand, and then it's below. Um, nothing about incinerate. So that's just just weird at the end of the day. But ninety eight k crits. Uh, hey, we'll, we'll we'll take that. But I love this. Look at this on screen right now. Ninety eight thousand per tick on a Winter Soldier kind of interaction. I love that. That is what I want to see damage-wise. This is when they switch over to Suicide Masteries and the damage potential that is uh, that is possible with it. So it's just it's great to see that uh, all that lovely uh, damage that comes from Bishop. I love this champion. I really do. It's a lot of fun and definitely rotating him a lot. You can see right now on screen the you get the information of the incinerate has been ninety six thousand on damage. Uh, special attacks three one seven one biggest hit. What was that? Nine another ninety eight k. It's just it's just nice. It's really really impressive. And we're going to end on uh, this footage right here uh, against uh, the Cap uh, the Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel. Uh, just to show like the build up, like uh, we're into an SP. Uh, by the way, I love the the awakened ability. So the um, extent of uh, foresight, which is you're able to uh, with uh, two bars of power, special attacks, leave the target incinerates for thirteen point uh, six eight uh, percent of the special attack dealt over ten seconds. So it's just that kind of cross fight element to it that really helps out uh, with the awakening ability. I mean, it's not like you know super amounts on percentages, but uh, yeah, it's um, oh, it's nice. You can see as well like double one blockable, and that's part of like the zero bar special attacks become unblockable with a stack of uh, twenty eight point seven four or more with uh, with prowess. Um, so it's a lot of kind of like it's a lot of crit. Oh, maybe that was a horseman synergy. It's hard to say, but yeah, it's great amount of damage with uh, with all this. I love this champion. I really do. Extent of damage potential. I do like suicide masteries with it, but it's just a case of sustainability, survivability for the champion. Which, if you had the Mangold synergy, maybe it recovers back the health you might lose from recoil. It's just a problem because you'll be rotating a lot of the time around the SP two. So again down to personal preference on that matter. In any case, a lot of fun with that champion, and that was a little quick video all about the lovely Bishop. Go and check out some more Bishop-based content coming soon on the channel. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Check out some other content as well, which will be on screen right now. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, everybody. What's your thoughts on Bishop as well?